Russia and China don't stand a chance against this new warship. The U.S. Navy is getting ready to produce and deliver a next-generation battleship with never-before-seen capabilities in response to the numerically superior People's Liberation Army Navy, or PLAN, which is becoming bigger every year. Before we get started, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated. The U.S. Navy's workhorse and a frequent visitor to the South China Sea and Taiwan Strait for freedom of navigation options, the Arleigh Burke-class destroyer first went into production more than 30 years ago. The U.S. Navy is prepared to make an enormous step forward, though. The future ship would be outfitted with laser armaments to take down approaching hostile missiles and hypersonic missiles capable of 3,800 mile per hour assault rates. The DDGX, next generation warship, is a work in progress. Tom Stevens, director of Bath Ironworks, told 8P that after a historic run of Arleigh Burke destroyer ships, the warship offers a chance to construct something fresh. There have been 70 DDG-51 class ships delivered to the Navy, and there are 12 ships in various stages of construction and 19 more under contract. When the Arleigh Burke class destroyer went into production, Stevens was a young welder. According to Stevens, quote, it will be a striking destroyer that will usher in the next generation of ships. China, whose numerical advantage develops regularly, poses an increasing threat to the Navy. So, when it comes to replacing the foundation of the fleet, the stakes are significant. The DDGX project, however, is progressing quickly. The initial design contracts for a sizable surface warship that will eventually replace the Burke destroyers were given to General Dynamics Bath Ironworks in Maine and Huntington Ingalls Industries in Mississippi last summer. The futuristic warship will be furnished with a lot of expensive military hardware. According to the Congressional Budget Office, the average cost of each new ship will be about a third more expensive than the Burke, whose most recent ships cost about $2.2 billion each. The first DDGX is something the Navy hopes to acquire in fiscal year 2030. In a report released by Congress, the Navy's projected fiscal year 2023 budget requested $195.5 million for the program's research and development. With the stealthy Zumwalt-class destroyers, the USS Gerald Ford aircraft carrier, and other recent shipbuilding mishaps where it hurried production and crammed a lot of new technology into ships, incurring delays and added expenses, the Navy has sworn that it won't make the same mistakes again. DDGX Next Generation Warship The U.S. Navy unveiled its design for the DDGX, a warship that could launch hypersonic missiles and laser weaponry in January of this year. The X in DDGX stands for an unidentified design. It has been hailed as the largest and most ambitious surface warship design the Navy has proposed in more than 20 years. The new ships will reportedly be armed with fighting equipment adapted from the present Flight 3 Arleigh Burke-class missile destroyers supplied with Baseline 10 Aegis weapons and the Spy-6 air search radar. The planned destroyer will stand out for its improved endurance, effective integrated power system, and innovative hull design. Integrating the laser weapons that will likely be deployed aboard DDG will depend on the power source, X. The capabilities that we will need for the 21st century to continue combating the threat are increased missile capability, sensor growth, directed energy weapons, which require a lot of power, increased survivability, and increased power availability, according to Catherine Connolly, Deputy Program Manager, during a briefing at the Surface Navy Association Symposium on January 12th. The new ship could theoretically charge up to 600 kilowatts of laser power, making them strong enough to shoot down enemy guided missiles. Additionally, the DDGX will likely be equipped with a flexible 5 inch gun and silos that are large enough to hold the Navy's newest hypersonic missiles. It is important to note that the U.S. Navy has already begun installing laser weapons on the DDG-51 destroyers that are now in service. 
The USS Preble, an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer in the U.S. Navy, has received a laser weapon system. The first laser that will be integrated with the power and cooling systems, as well as Arleigh Burke's Aegis combat system, is called the Helios Laser, which stands for High Energy Laser with Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance. The U.S. Navy works intensively to develop long-range hypersonic missiles in the field of armaments. According to the U.S. Navy, air-launched, air-breathing hypersonic anti-ship cruise weapons would be operational by 2028. This tool will be essential for thwarting growing threats from rivals like China and Russia. The three destroyers of the Zumwalt class are expected to be the first to be equipped with long-range hypersonic weapons, according to a previous article by Eurasian Times. Burks was to be replaced by the stealthy Zumwalt-class destroyers, which were to have electric propulsion, a distinctive tumble-home hull, and an angular design to lessen radar signature. Due to the enormous expense, the program was ultimately reduced from 32 to 3, but advocates argued that technological breakthroughs would be useful for ships in the future. According to the Navy, the new destroyers will have a conventional hull, a radar, and a weapon system similar to those in use today. Additionally, the lasers will be powered by the ship's electric power plant. However, others have criticized the initiative as being, quote, too aspirational, and money continues to be a problem.